The CDNT, that is one of the most important. Um, if your sheep or goats are extremely stressed, it's recommended to do a CDNT four times a year, so tell people as the seasons change. My dairy goat people, that's what they do. Um, the brands that are approved for goats are Barvac and Vision 7. There is a Vision 8 where it has a tetanus in it. Um, you don't necessarily need that tetanus unless you're banding, whether you're banding tails or testicles. Um, you need the seven-way clostridial, though, for enterotoxemia. Um, for, for those with, when you're including tetanus, mm -hmm. are, are you supposed to give a booster with those similar? So how does that work with when you're giving like the That's a great question. So banding. What I do, and I've taught some of my shepherds on banding, um, you don't you don't band tails, do you? You just band tails. I do band tails. You, they, you do? Yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be at the hawks, and they're okay. born longer. So, because of the show sheep, we, we band really close to the rectum. I don't advise that. I wish, in California, they, they actually, one good thing happened in California. Uh. They, they changed the law where you have to leave an inch. They call it a... a a pencil test. You stick the a pencil under the tail and we're at the farthest point for the rectum where you can still with ease pick up the tail is where you, you're supposed to band. Um, and the reason why when you band that close you're deteriorating all the the muscle tone around the anus and make them more prone to, to prolapse and do having rectal prolapses. Um, so when you do band I usually band once those lambs are on mama's um, you know, if they're on a mama's and doing well 24, 48 hours old, that's when I band. I do a tiny little epidural, and I've taught some of my, my wool clients how to do that. It's really comfortable on that lamb. Lidocaine is really cheap, but there is a lidocaine toxicosis in sheep um, and goats too, so you don't have to use very much. But my clients, I show them where to put that little drop of lidocaine um, right at where you're going to put your band, and it's more, much more comfortable on those lambs. So those lambs, even though they're not weaning age and they're not eating, I give them a CD&T when I band it a couple days old. Okay? When they are, it depends on when you're looking at weaning and when they start to eat grain. You know, they'll start to eat grain with mom sometimes the first week of life. Um, when those lambs are really putting away a feed about three to four weeks of age, I give them their, their next dose because I'm banding um, their CD&T. Um, if we're not banding at that point, that's about the time that I give the CDNT. Uh, I boost her again in a month, um, and then I boost her again in a month after that, um, especially when they're really eating the feed. Honestly, you cannot overdo quick um, You cannot overdo your CDNT. I have had feeder lambs when we were uh, really selling meat at farmers markets that I bought from friends from shepherds um, that had three rounds of CD and T before I got them. I gave them a booster again and then I still had them die from enterotoxemia. So it's not a hundred percent vaccine um, but when you're pushing they're eating four and five pounds a day when you're trying to get them fat to get them to, to eat it's kind of stressful and you get a hot snap or a cold snap anything that's stressful on them um, keep that in mind stress that's why with dairy goats especially or animals that are stressed it's wise to do it as the seasons change four times a year so I do it again at six months of age um, and then I do it pre-breeding and then I do it about a month before they kid or lamb where it fortifies that colostrum um, I lost a 